today we're going to be talking about pelvic rotation blocking which is going to be on the back portion of your sheet so for this exercise there's a few different ways to do it the first that we're going to talk about right now is when your right hip is higher so your doctor will let you know if that is the case and they will mark off everything on this sheet that you need to see so if your right hip is higher the way these blocks are actually going to be facing is going to be left block higher and the right block is lower. Now I'm gonna demonstrate right here in a minute. We're actually gonna be on our backs, but I do wanna show you the positioning of these. They should be caddy cornered almost. Thin position will be facing towards each other and the thicker portions will be facing outwards, just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them right here. And then whenever I do go to lay on my back, I will take this roll that y'all have already seen before and I will put it underneath my cervical spine to give myself support. So here we go. What I'm gonna do is come around to the front and I'll show you how to position everything. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down on my back. The roll should be in my cervical spine. And again, I will go ahead and lift up my right hip, position this right underneath. And then on the left portion, I will put that higher. So they should be diagonally facing each other inward. Pull them out in just a second to show you what they will look like underneath. They will actually be just like this, but underneath on my back. And you'll see they are pushed in quite a bit. That is the way it's going to work. Gravity here is our friend pushing us down on the blocks and all you will do is wait for the prescribed amount of time that your doctor has on the sheet. If your left tip is higher for pelvic rotation blocking, the blocks will be in a slightly different position, okay? So make sure you look again at your sheet and it should show you which one is checked off, whichever one the doctor prescribes. So again, if your left hip is higher, this is the way the blocks will look. So your left hip is higher, your right block will actually be higher this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, they'll be right high, left low. I'm gonna go ahead and lay back down on this roll. And then I will position these for you. So again, your left hip is higher, the right block will now be the higher portion facing down diagonally. And on the left side, you will put the block right underneath, just like that. So same positioning, only a different way if your left hip is higher. For this exercise, increased sacral base. We're going to be using the blocks again, but just one, which I'll show you in just a second. This is increased sacral base, also known as anterior L5 blocking. If your doctor prescribes this, you will have this portion filled out, checked off. So what I'm gonna show you right here, increased sacral base, you will only be using one block, okay? Now it comes with two and you might have other exercises prescribed with two, but just take one of these blocks and I'm gonna show you, your tailbone is actually, you can already see where I've tried to draw a circle almost, your tailbone will be sitting on this. I'm gonna show you how that looks in just a second. Easiest way to get in this position, again, you are on your back, so I want you to take that cervical roll, place it underneath your neck, and go ahead and lay down. And then, with your knees bent, I want you to go ahead, lift those hips up, and place the block underneath with your tailbone sitting right on top. You'll see it has me slightly elevated here. And again, thin position pointing towards my head, thick position pointing towards my feet. You'll go ahead, place your tailbone right on that block, and you are going to be laying here for the prescribed amount of time that your doctor has on the sheet. This could be anywhere from two minutes up to 20 to 30 minutes, laying here, letting gravity do the work. For this exercise, we will be doing decreased sacral base, okay? This is also known as posterior L5 blocking, and this is also the only blocking exercise that is done on your stomach, okay? So what I want you to start off with, we have the roll again. Now instead of this roll going behind the neck, we're gonna put it bridge of the nose up to the forehead just to give support as you're laying on your stomach. This exercise is done best on the floor or on the ground, a hard surface, not on the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the blocks are going to be, we're going to be using both of them, and the blocks are actually going to be slightly angled downward, thick position out, thin position in towards my body. And I'm going to show you exactly how to lay down on these. So what you want to do, just go ahead and position them, and then we'll reposition them once we're on the ground. You're going to go ahead and lay down on your stomach. Right now, I can't feel the blocks at all. So you're going to push them in slightly, and this is going to bring 
your stomach down. You can see I'm getting more of a curve in my back. Again, this exercise, you will be laying here for the prescribed amount of time that your doctor recommends. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the progressive rolls while sleeping. So the most important thing to think about with this is that many people nowadays sleep on their side and their stomach, okay? Best way to sleep is on your back with just support underneath that cervical spine, okay? So not a ton of pillows pushing us up. That gives us that neck, okay? We don't want that. We definitely want some support in the neck though, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to achieve that with these rolls. Very simple tool to use. Now, I'm gonna be using the larger roll underneath my neck. Again, whatever is on your sheet prescribed by the doctor will be very detailed. If you have any questions, just let us know at Columbia Family Chiropractic. So what you're gonna be doing is placing this underneath your cervical spine. And again, this is all sleeping, so this is done in the bed. So go ahead, remove those pillows and try this out, okay? You're gonna be laying down with this underneath your cervical spine. Then I'm gonna show you where the smaller one comes into play. Once you go ahead and lay down, a lot of people that aren't um, familiar with laying on their back while sleeping might feel a little bit of pulling in their lower back as well. That's where this smaller roll comes into place. I want you to go ahead and place that right at the hips, a little above the hips, okay? So it's just gonna relieve some pressure if you are having any in your lower back. And this is how you will use both rolls. Now, this one's not mandatory, but this roll in your cervical spine is going to help us get our neck in the perfect curved position and train it over sleeping over a longer period of time. And then you will go to sleep. 